drive just about anywhere in Bend and you're going to see structures like these beautifying our roundabouts. They're eye-catching, they're creative, but who's paying for them? Taxpayers, the city, county, the state? Turns out none of the above. The money that pays for those is generally raised through uh, private donations from community members, money that comes from the Bend Foundation, and then also a fundraising campaign that took place probably in 2009-2010 called Be Part of Art. Rami Mortensen, board president of Art and Public Places, wants to put taxpayers' minds at ease. No cost to the taxpayers for this art process. You can also expect more to come in the future. We have plans right now. We're um, putting in place a call for two additional sculptures, uh, a call for artists for two addi additional sculptures at Murphy and 15th and at Colorado and Columbia. Michael Stutz recently selected as one of the artists to showcase their creativity at the Empire Butler Market Street roundabout. This is a big piece. It's 24 feet tall. Now the thing about that roundabout out at Empire, there's a lot going on. It's a two lane. There are a bunch of roads coming together. There's a gas station, a church, there's houses. There's tons of just traffic light, uh, uh, signs and stuff around it. This one kind of had to be able to have a presence in the midst of call it a you know a, an active suburban urban environment. Stutz sculpture will be installed at no cost to you next summer. In Bend, Colby Inabrad, Central Oregon Daily News.